Hey guys, what's up? You're gonna continue to hear a little bit more hype about assuming a loan. So I just wanted to talk about that really quick while I'm here stuck in traffic. Um, basically, and I'm gonna share a little experience that I just had with the property we're currently selling. This property is 515,000, it's in Murrieta, three bed, two and a half bath condo. And we had listed it and had it on market for a couple weeks, really needed to get it to sell. Um, and it dawned on me that she has a FHA loan, which um, if you didn't know, a lot of FHA loans and VA loans are assumable, typically not conventional. Um, and she had a rate of 2.75 that she had gotten on that property, that mortgage, about two years ago when she purchased it. And she's looking to get a bigger place, which great, she's already uh, in contract on a new build. But the good thing about this, both for the seller and then also for the buyer, one, as a seller, you could demand a little bit more and get a lot more activity because obviously a buyer is going to find that very attractive. In this case, the buyer got interest rate of 2.75, whereas if they were in the market with a traditional FHA mortgage, you're talking mid sevens or so, she's gonna save, or the family is going to save, more than $800 a month on monthly payment, number one. So obviously huge pro, right? Much lower payment. She already qualified for, for FHA. Um, and so saving over 800 bucks a month. On top of that, she's assuming the loan, which means they've already paid two years. So it's basically no longer a 30 year mortgage. It's a 28 years, just whatever they have left on the, on the current mortgage. The only slight downside is you've gotta be able to come up with that difference in between what they are buying the property with and what the mortgage is. In this case, um, let's say it's 520 and they owe 425. Well, then they're gonna to have to come in with that 95,000 difference, which sometimes that's obviously going to be challenging. But in a case where they've purchased a FHA in the last one, two, three years, usually it's gonna be somewhat close to where you can come up with that difference um, and be able to assume a loan where your payments obviously are gonna be a lot less. The other upside as a seller selling it and understanding this process is you're gonna create a lot more demand on a property like this because if I'm a buyer, I would much rather have a 2.75 interest rate and therefore I'm gonna wanna, I'm willing to be more aggressive on getting that property, right? So if it's listed at 515 and I can get for 800 less a month, I'm, I'm willing to offer 525, 530 because otherwise if I can't get it assumed, I'm gonna pay almost a thousand dollars more. Yeah, no, thank you, I'd rather get a property where I can actually assume the mortgage. You do have to qualify as if you're qualifying for an FHA loan when you assume it and go through that process, but the process really isn't that difficult. If you can qualify for a traditional FHA loan, you're going to qualify for that assumption. And on top of that, of course, if you can qualify in this market with regular rates, and of course, assuming a much lower rate, you're definitely going to qualify because your debt to income ratios are going to be a lot lower. So keep that in mind. There's lots of positives for whether you're a buyer or a seller. Make sure you understand that. If you're a buyer, you're on the sideline, but you don't wanna buy because of the high interest rates, reach out to us. I'd love to educate and kind of share a little bit more we are pursuing more of these opportunities. And so as they come up, they will go quickly. I actually have another property with a friend that um, also has an FHA assumable loan. And that one is also right, I think it's right at 3%. So there are opportunities out there. You just need to be working with someone who understands the process and is able to find them. It's really not as scary as it seems. The process does take a little bit longer than a traditional um, 30, 45 day escrow. Typically, it's probably safer to say closer to 60 days or so. It just depends on how quick the bank processes it and how quick both the 
the well especially the buyer buying the property does all the applications and so forth so anyway just want to share a little bit about the how amazing assuming a loan can be and just a little bit about that experience reach out if you have any questions thanks guys